Hello, hello, Tyro. Hi, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. So, Tyrell, I'll ask you please to introduce yourself. Sure. Uh, my name is Tyrell Haight, and uh, I wrote the script Moral Trial. Okay. So, Tyrell, would you please like uh, tell me more about your background? Are you a filmmaker? Are you a script writer? Are you, or it's maybe your first script? Uh, so I did go to film school in Victoria, Canada. Um, mm. there we specialized in acting, but, uh, we had to write out a few scenes and mm. I, I kind of gravitated towards writing after film school. I started to make some short films and stuff like that. And, and yes, this is the first time I've submitted a yeah. script to a, a script writing competition and, uh, excited to see where it goes. Yeah, cool. We're excited about it. Um, Tyrell, so what what what's it about? What's the story behind it? What what was your inspiration? Why did you write this piece? So the story uh starts off as a an old man on trial for the uh the war crimes during World War II. Um not to give too much away about it because we would like to see it made, but uh uh a lot of things happened during World War II, during the the Holocaust, and and it, it touches on uh, this particular prison guard who uh, had to admit to what he did during the during the Holocaust and in in the death camps, and um, sometimes um, what happened then was just chaotic, and um, we would like to to think that back in the back in those times that maybe that uh there was some people that were willing to help mm. uh the Jewish population and and it wasn't all just evil people out there and uh some the inspiration behind it was uh, a world, a documentary that I was watching about a, a gentleman by the name of uh <laughs> I'm going to butcher his name but uh Helmut Kl Klinky mm. Uh, he was a, a, a Nazi officer that would take uh, Jewish people and, and give them passes to work on his engineering projects. And he would uh, treat them with respect and and basically try to smuggle them out. And he would hide their kids in his basement and, and he never got caught helping. And there's not a lot of records of nazis and german people helping the jewish population but and they did suppress a lot of the, those records so i would like to think that and hope i would like to hope that that he wasn't the only one i would mm -hmm. like to hope that that you know there was some humanity back there and and just people helping people because it was the right thing to do yeah Tyrell, um personally i've read your script but I'm not going to spoil it to everyone <laughs> <laughs> who would like to people attending the film festival to read it as well. Um, mm -hmm. My question is, because um, your script, if I'm not mistaken, is like nine pages or 10 pages. And correct. Yeah. Yeah. How how difficult it is. And maybe it's not, but I'm just putting out the question how difficult it is to um, write about character and like a complicated complex you know a complicated setting like the world war ii and trying to um explain you know the depth of the character of your especially your main character in few pages and in few scenes so i would love to to know what do you think about it and how did you do it <clears throat> well like i said i mean the Holocaust in a whole was just such chaos. And uh, the scene where it starts out in the rail yard, um, a train comes in and, and the, you know, the prisoners come off the train and it, and it just, it starts off calm and slow. And then all of a sudden a spark hits and, and it just, everything falls apart and panic ensues. Um, I feel like that's kind of what the whole, holocaust was in a hole in in 
as it started off kind of calm and then a spark hit and it just was chaotic. And I tried to explain that whole situation and that whole time period <laughs> into 10 pages. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, and um, the character, the main character, Hans, he, he's scared. He's a young soldier and he's scared and, and he's scared of the repercussions that would happen if he didn't listen to his officers and if he didn't do what he was ordered to do. And, and like anybody in that situation, you know, you'd be terrified along with the prisoners. And, and I mean, it would just be chaotic. And I, I tried to put myself in that situation and, and uh, it, it was dark and it was sad and it was, and it was dramatic and, and, yeah, it was it's it's pretty heavy script. Yeah. So um how many characters are in your script? Uh so it flashes back to uh, in the the 90s while they're on trial and uh there's it's it takes place in a in a courthouse because mm -hmm. an old man is on trial and then it flashes back to the old man as a young soldier and kind of his the protagonist, I, I guess you would say, would be, you know, the the older officer pressuring him into doing things. And then um, uh, there's a lot of background characters, obviously, because it, it gets pretty crowded. But the main character, Hans, he's, you know, you see him as a as an older man and then you see him flashback during the war as a younger soldier. Yeah, cool. And my question, did you did you do a lot of research in in order for you to be able to write this script yeah yes well this is like i'm a bit of a, a history buff as well and um but like i said this this one character is not based off a true character uh it, it was kind of a spin-off of uh the 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 person i mentioned before the helmet mm. that helped out and um i just kind of like i said i just wish i would hope that you know, there he wasn't the only one, and and I, I wanted to explore that a little bit more. Mm. Tyron, why didn't you write a documentary? Um, uh, I don't know. It's just uh, <laughs> I never thought about that. Yeah. Uh, I had a friend just recently asked me about that too, about writing documentaries, and I just I don't really have any experience in it. Mm. I, I love watching documentaries, but I just never. Uh, yeah. And maybe that might be an avenue to explore in the future. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel that there is like difference in the intention if I'm writing a documentary or if I'm writing a script or it's maybe the same? Like the script may be more subjective, I would say. Oh, yeah. I mean, with a documentary, obviously, you want to be as fact based as possible. Mm. Uh, but I do feel like documentaries can be very opinion based as well mm. and um as far as like a, a fictional script um yeah like i mean it is all it is all opinion i mean there, there's no facts there. like i mean you take details and facts from history but with a fictional character i mean uh, you know it could go either way right mm. <laughs> Tyrell, um, and this is a general question. What do you think about the scripts, like short movie scripts, the modern ones that we watch on TV, that we watch on the platforms? Um, I do think a lot of uh, platforms and streaming, they do have a lot of short sections. And I, I think shorts are kind of actually getting a little more uh, recognition as they, they should because they are getting more popular because, you know, people have less time and a less attention span. So instead of watching a two hour long movie, they can watch a 10 minute short. And I mean, with everybody's busy schedule now, it's it. And, and I think there's a lot of good, a lot of good movies out there that are shorts that just don't get the attention that they deserve. Yeah. Cool. And uh, about your plot, because your film for me it starts like the first scene everything's everything starts the first scene mm -hmm. um in other movies like you know you have like the first scene and then like it's an introduction and then the second scene and then everything happens like the main plot the main intrigue happens 
um, like let's say in act two, act three, you know, so people are really, they go by acts, like, you know, the, this is the act one, this is the act two, um, but yours is different. It starts immediately with your main character talking. Um, was it on purpose? Was it, um, or you just didn't feel that you want to go by, like by the book? Um, yeah, it's it's funny you mentioned that. Um, a lot of my scripts don't follow that that act one, act two, act three. Mm. Um, it's it's weird because the way I I write and I I do think it is different sometimes that um, I kind of just close my eyes and play it in my head and then write it as I see it. Mm. And if I like it and it's entertaining, then then it then I write it down. And mm. uh, this script does just kind of it is jump jump right into it. I mean, mm. you, you don't you, the the quality of life and the and the character's way of life and the introduction of his life is very vague at the beginning mm. and it's not revealed into the into the the middle. So I mean, yeah, it is it is a little bit different, I would say, yeah, than the traditional mm. act one, act two, act three introduction of characters and Mm. introduction of their life and stuff like that so yeah I, I would say it's a bit different but that's I guess yeah. just trying to shake things up yeah <laughs> is it your style of writing you know because we have we all have different right like styles right. of writing um another question what do you since we're talking about like rules and not following the rules so what do you do to the what do you say to the um like filmmakers the young filmmakers the people who are writing their scripts and they are wondering like shall we go by the book shall we just write whatever we feel shall we what do you say to these people oh 100 percent i write what you feel i mean if you don't put your heart and your feelings and your soul into your writing it's just gonna fall flat mm -hmm. um no. you know actors act they have their emotions and, and it's very interesting and very entertaining to watch people act because they have their own style. Mm -hmm. And I think writers need to do that as well. Mm -hmm. They need to come up with their own style. They need to put a little piece of themselves into their work so that it, it it's more entertaining. Mm -hmm. It's not just, you know, one plus one is two. Yeah. Sometimes one plus one should equal five, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, because this you know? is what we see, you know, um, reading a lot of scripts. So we feel that everyone is following like the same pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's interesting to see um, people not following these patterns and actually just following how they see their movie or how they want their movie to look like. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Cool. So any um, dates for like pre-production, production, production uh well the tough one about this is it's a period piece uh to do it the way i'd want to do is quite a big budget so mm -hmm. right now we're just working on funding um trying to get a budget down and uh location is a big one yeah of course um yeah. you know I, you need I, I like costumes and like, right yeah yeah go. so yeah. you know a lot, a lot of period world war ii uniforms mm -hmm. and and guns and yeah you need a train like an old style train and and yeah there's there's a lot of moving parts to making a film and uh mm -hmm. we we did we do have a few films short films that we made before mm -hmm. um that were in the the festival circuit that did quite mm -hmm. well so uh we're not my wife and i started a, a production company so we're not any strangers to uh, mm -hmm. uh to making films but yeah this one is it's quite heavy and I would like to do it, you know, I'd like to do it justice by doing yeah. it, doing yeah, it properly. Cool. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Well, Ty Tyrell, good luck. Thank um, you. It was my pleasure talking to you today. Thank you. Thank you. And um, any other thing you would like to add? Uh, no, I just really appreciate the interview and the, uh, the exposure and, mm -hmm. and the selection of the film, the, the script there, because uh, yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, it is a it's a, it's a pretty heavy script and pretty mm. dramatic and and it's a, it's a good read and hopefully oh. we can get it made. <laughs>
<laughs> of course, I hope to. Thank you, Tyrell, and I wish you a very good day. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.